Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Tonight I am hosting my friends for a little wine and charcuterie night because I was very generously gifted about five or six bottles of wine from High Camp Wines. And if you have followed me for a while, you might know that I just don't really drink that much. I'd say in the span of a month, I probably have anywhere from zero to two drinks total. So I thought I would invite some friends over that really do love wine and enjoy these as well as make a charcuterie plate and just catch up because it has been a long time. This is my college friend group that's coming over tonight. So I used to live with some of them and we would always have dinner parties. And so it just feels like really nostalgic and heartwarming to be able to continue this tradition. Things just get harder as you get older. So it was nice to get this on the calendar. And I'm also going to be making the Trader Joe's gluten-free pumpkin bread mix tonight with some chocolate chips because this is just so delicious and comforting. And we're mostly going to be having like salty snacks like olives, crackers, and vegan cheese. So I thought it would be ideal to have like a hot baked good that we can all just like dive into and share. It is so easy and such a crowd pleaser. I just always put in a little bit less oil than it says, add some more of my own spices, and of course add lots of chocolate chips. But this one is really nice and fluffy if you really whip together your water and your oil and your eggs first. Highly recommend it. I make this every year and it is just perfect with like a cup of coffee or for dessert. Here is everything I got to go on the charcuterie board. And tonight I'm just gonna use this giant Ikea cutting board because I usually will use this smaller little walnut board, but it's really small and I just wanted to make it nice and easy. This is a casual affair. So here are the cheeses I picked up from Erwan today. This one has black olives and herbs. This one is black truffle, and this brand is creamy cashew cheese. It's based in LA, I love to support them. And then this one's only available at Erwan that I know of. This is the black garlic brie, and I've never tried it, but I really like their normal brie. So I'm excited to try that. Then we have some grapes, candy pecans, some sun-dried tomato hummus, black fig jam, and then I have Trader Joe's pita bite crackers, some marinated olives and gluten-free sesame crackers. Here is the finished board. And I ended up not putting this cheese out because we had a couple cancellations. So I felt like it was just best to go with the resealable cheeses. And then here is my set of little knives. So I'm just gonna place those in all of our items. So cute, I am quite pleased with myself. It's casual, it's easy. Good morning, I just woke up. It has been a few days actually, it's Sunday. So I filmed those last clips on Wednesday. I don't really know where the week went, honestly, but I just made my bed with my new Bed Threads linen bed set and I'm just in love with it. I'm working with them on TikTok, so I do have a discount code. You can get 10% off site-wide with the code Lindsay10. I did the olive striped duvet with sage sheets and it just is like my dream bed. I always wanted to have like a darker duvet for the fall and winter and then a lighter one in the summer. And I always have linen on my bed. It's just like really lightweight, breathable, perfect for California weather. So I'm just so excited about it and I just washed it. So that's why I put it on this morning. But while I was doing my morning skincare, I thought I would feature some products that are gonna be in the Sephora sale because I get asked a lot about you know, what do I recommend in the Sephora sale? All of my makeup favorites kind of have stayed the same. I thought I would go over like hair products and products that I don't always mention that I think are amazing. I just like don't talk about them a lot. This is the shampoo I use every time I wash my hair. It's the Bumble and Bumble Gentle Shampoo and it cleanses your hair, 
leaves it feeling really clean without weighing it down. It's just perfect for my hair texture, which is like, I have a lot of hair, but it's relatively fine. I also use this Bumble and Bumble leave-in conditioner. This is the light defining cream for moisturized, flexible curls, fine to medium hair. And I love this because it's taking forever to go through. You use the smallest amount, the way fine to medium hair mask. I've also repurchased this quite a few times. I love how it smells and it leaves your hair feeling so moisturized. My favorite dry shampoo I've ever used is this one from Living Proof, the Perfect Hair Day. It actually makes your hair feel clean and doesn't leave a weird residue and it makes my hair last so many more days. I used to have to wash my hair like every other day and this has helped so much. Like this is probably I don't know, three, maybe even four day hair, I could probably keep going. And it's all because of this. When I use heat on my hair, I use the Way Heat Protectant. The T3 Micro flat iron is my absolute favorite. I also had a GHD Gold flat iron and I loved it. Both amazing, worth every penny. I use it pretty much every day. And then a more recent favorite has been this dry bar blow dry brush. It's a smaller barrel, so it's perfect for bangs and layers. It really has blown me away. I was like shocked at how easy it was to use. And this is also sold at Sephora. This is the, the smaller one, the half shot. And then as far as skincare goes, I have skincare routines. I feel like you guys have heard my favorite products. Let me know if you have any products you have questions about. Boy Spells just sent me a new candle. I am a huge fan of their candles. I actually just got their soaps for my bathroom. That smells lovely. This is for the holidays. Thank you so much, Boy Smells. They are just the sweetest and I love all of their products. And then I also got myself something from Lisa Says Ga because I was invited to their store opening in LA and I figured I should get something to wear because they had a 20% off. This is the first item that I got. It is this kind of slightly sheer organza wrap top. And this is just so gorgeous with like some black trousers or a mini skirt. I could definitely wear this to their store opening or I could wear this matching white set that I got which I also got on the 20% off and it was the last one in my size. So it was kind of fate. This isn't the most fall and winter piece, but it's this linen blend pair of white pants with pockets. Here is the matching top. It has little buttons. Just imagine this matching white set with these pointed kitten heels and like my Chanel bag. It will be a great look. I think I might have to wear this. But anyways, thank you for joining me in opening my mail. I just tried the set on and it kind of looks like pajamas, but hopefully with like the right shoes and steaming this, it won't look like pajamas, but the fit is pretty great and the feeling of it is really good. They also sell, I think a skirt version that goes with the matching top and it's really cute. These are the best gluten-free waffles if you haven't had them. And then for topping, Miyoko's oat butter and some raspberry vanilla bean jam from Squirrel in LA. This restaurant sells a ton of jarred jams that are so unique and all different kinds of local fruits and flavors. And this is like one of the best jams I've ever had in my life. It's amazing. I just got dressed to go to the Stodd sample sale and get coffee with my friend Dom. If you are interested in sample sales in LA, follow 260LA on Instagram. That is the storefront that is hosting the sample sale and they host so many, it rotates every single week. But I really love Stodd for their shoes and their bags and so I just thought it would be worth going to and I haven't seen Dom in like a week. We always get coffee so I'm really looking forward to seeing her and catching up and it was also a good excuse to kind of like actually get dressed up. I feel like I've barely even put outfits together this month because I've just been dealing with so many headaches still. That's honestly why this vlog has been choppy. Like anytime a day just sort of like cuts off it's probably because I got a really bad headache and I talked about it, but I'm changing my dose of my Lexapro and it is just 
really still giving me some trouble when it comes to headaches but i thought today if i started strong with a cute outfit i could probably get an outfit photo and hopefully you know my headache won't come until later in the evening but i'm just i'm so i'm so over it it's so annoying Your sandwich looks so good. It does look really good. Got the veggie sandwich with tahini, crispy rice bowl, tuna rice bowl. Chris, uh, yeah, oh, tuna rice. Oh my goodness. Spicy tuna. Oh, I missed you so much. Dom and I just got lunch at Croft Alley, which was so delicious. I got a veggie sandwich, and she got the crispy tuna rice bowl. But now I'm home and I'm gonna give you a haul of what I got at the Stodd sample sale. It was pretty crazy and we ended up staying for about three hours total. I thought we were gonna be there for like 45 minutes, maybe an hour. I was very wrong about that, but I'm pretty happy with the stuff I got. I initially really wanted like a bag or a pair of shoes, but I ended up only getting clothes actually. If you want to see what Dom got, she's going to post a TikTok about it. She just had to go because she had a meeting. Otherwise, we were going to do the haul together. But this is the first thing I got. It is this like very 60s print mini skirt and I am in love with it. I mean, clearly I love a mini skirt. I'm wearing one right now. So I thought it would be a great investment and everything there was like $25 a piece as opposed to $250. I got this black smocked top for $15 and this would be so cute with my skirt right now. It really just looks like something that I would wear. That's why I got it. The crowds in there were just so intense. It like automatically gave me a headache. It was pretty brutal. I don't know if I would do it again, but for the prices we got, it felt very worth it. I think these are so cute. They're little cable knit shorts that I personally wouldn't wear out of the house. These are definitely for lounging at home. And then this last thing is actually for my sister for Christmas. So I just wanted to give that heads up so she doesn't spoil it. But it is this amazing jumpsuit that has pearlescent buttons and it's like low in the back and it has the pearls on the bottom as well. And this was just too incredible to pass up and I know she would love it, but I wasn't sure if it would fit. So to be safe, I also got the top from the same collection. There's something about it that is just like so charming. Here is the skirt on. It definitely is short, but I just love it. And I think like with my tall boots, it would be so cute. I could definitely wear this to the event that I have. Maybe even with that white button up that I showed you guys yesterday. It's a very haul heavy vlog. Um, I've just kind of been in a shopping mood for whatever reason, just like really inspired. 